Boom platoon. That was easy. Oh. That was easy. That was easy. That was certainly easy. And my name is Andrew. This is Professor Meatball, and we're gonna cover exactly how easy it is to manipulate an entire forum on the internet. Right now, we have Wall Street Bets leading into maybe Wall Street Bets new AMC stock and then RGME and then from there are super stocks. So there's been a large group of migration, but the apes are still the same. Apes do not fight apes and yet there are non-apes hidden amongst us. And this is something that Rensel tweeted at a lot of the people helping support the public knowledge, the financial education of the squeeze. And I wanted to make sure that you guys had the information that you needed because we are not a cat. Uh, if you guys wanted a shirt like this, I'm gonna try to uh, rustle up where I got this cool little shirt and put that in the description down below so you guys can as well. Not affiliated, just wanna help out someone trying to spread the word on the squeeze. So we have on our left, a DD by user the Goombler. So make sure that you're giving the Goombler a uh, quick like and make sure that you have already supported this video by pressing that like. Let's try to get this up to 1100 likes on this video and uh, let's waste no more time. Putting shows on blast, a concerned businessman has come to snitch on hedgy spies more inside. First off, before they begin, they want to be 101% clear on the matter. They come from is right you guys know where that is this is his first reddit account ever and they feel a little dirty even setting foot in here and what is done must be done and the record made clear even if it may seem cringe inducing or alien to you all he is here because he is sick and tired of the games being played by us uh, with us by corrupt businessmen and they have overstepped their boundaries so what we have here is a step by step the big one up there a step by step techniques for dilution misdirection and control of an internet forum uh, and this is a person coming from 4chan saying hey i'm here to give you guys a little quick peek at what i see happening in the gme forum and what could possibly become a much larger issue uh, rensel told me here that it's basically peace in the Middle East when 4chan and Reddit work together. So this is, this is a kind of a big deal if you guys aren't aware of the context. And let's make sure that we actually run through that context. Oh, thank you, Ryan Monaghan, for joining as a Mo Monkey. That's what Disaster Area 45 did. He says, hi, Andrew. Great channel. Been following for a while. Thought I would... Uh, take the plunge and become a member. That's because they decided to support the show. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is the join button, and then you would have your face over here on the Patreon screen at the end. But it's not quite the end yet. Let's make sure that we go through this slowly. It began a couple of weeks ago. Uh, hold on a sec. Here. I am here because I'm sick and tired of the games being played with us by corrupt businessmen. What I'm about to say is more than speculation. Ooh, okay, more than speculation. Uh, because the amount of people being banned from our threads over trivial matters and even complete fabricated reasons have been on the rise. So with that, you probably need some context. So let's scroll through to see exactly how long this is. Here's that document that we have pulled up right above our heads. Uh, and here is Rensel's sticky comment. So Rensel is a, a moderator on our Super Stonk. He says, before people wave this off as BS, they know what the user is speaking of. This uh, They've often lurked on uh, biz for the past years to educate themselves, but there has been a big change since January. He checked in January to see what biz thought of this as there is usually some effed up humor to find there or some uncouth harsh opinions which can actually help you get another perspective. After that, they didn't visit biz for a few weeks and looked at it as a past two weeks and the narrative changed completely. Having thread splitters, bands of regulars, you name it, and all the weird stuff they've been seeing here as well. Bots, shills, trolls, paid idiots, you name it. And this is where they have the ideology from be excellent to each other as the people who are common there at a certain vernacular. So please take this as serious as you can because coin tell is a thing, unfortunately, and the same tactics we have seen with a less reputable mod on another sub. So with that, let's take a, let's take a serious look at just one paragraph worth of text. So if we can go through this, we can make it through together here. Thank you, Motion M. Uh, when a person says, I'm going to 
Oh, actually, I have already created a video about that, so I'm going to cover your super in just a second. It began a couple of weeks ago when uh, our moderation and administration decided to put our need for janitors, hold on, put out their need for janitors to monitor the threads. Uh, janitor's place is to watch and make sure people do follow our loose rule system. We are not some monstrous place where all manner of ill intent is allowed to fester, but is instead a place where freedom of speech is supposed to be unhindered. And the individual is left to sift through misinformation and outright lies to find the nuggets of truth. They have their own culture, yes, and as alien as it is to people like you here on Reddit, it is what we use to pick the outsiders off from the regulars. It is almost a cipher language in and of itself for all the grotesque contents of the vernacular involved. They have noticed a large uptick in the amount of people who do not fit in. That in of itself is a normal expected occurrence as the site we call home gets increased traffic to relevant borders where relevant situations rear head. The issue was they were obviously not here to ask questions about the stock. So this is the uh, this is where it gets suspicious. Where we have a role that they opened up, uh, a pretty simple role to uh, make sure that they enforce loosey goosey rules. And now we have people that are starting to get off topic. For the last three months, GME has been the busiest thread on biz by a wide margin, with people coming from the woodwork to lie about very easy to understand information, to insult us and belittle us, and generally attempt psychological warfare for the sheer sake of disrupting our thread cohesion and convincing people to sell. They thought maybe for a second that it was their own, but noticed a severe uptick in anti-Semitic commentary, which, while the home site is for biz itself, has more of a problem with Indian coin scammers, which do their part to try and fleece people from their hard-earned money and gains, the administration has done nothing to bring this up from, to stop this from happening, and the amount of policing on biz for years has been abysmal. Why do they bring this up? Yeah, I'm starting to lose the lose track of where you're going, uh, because after the janitorial acceptance letters went out, policing in the threads of GME and only GME went up exponentially. If you do not believe this, all you have to do is go to the current thread now and look back through the archived ones. You will see nothing but a blaming of Hugh and Jannies for our problems in customary abrasive manner. Okay, let's find out what Hughes and Jannies are. Hugh was an Anon who showed up and tried to thread split a process by which you slow traffic and conversion by diverting attention using multiple threads of the same name. The general and using is either an IP spoofer to mass report people or having connections now with our administration. Started reporting anyone who did not agree with this thread splitting, drama inducing narrative. After all, at the end of the day, people just want to talk about the stock, yes? We managed to get him uh, get unbanned, some using proper means, others just dodging it with sheer tech savvy. So pushed him out before it got too bad and has been uh, since been silent. But when the acceptance letters for janitorial staff went out proper, the bans jumped. Uh, I'm going to say that's like a thousand percent. Uh, people are getting banned for non-issues. They are getting banned for being on topic. They're being banned for speaking up about people getting banned unfairly. Today, before they ate their one their own three-day over a non-issue, they even watched someone's post on a thousand percent increased volatility being bullish be outright deleted within seconds of their refresh on page. Don't you think you are alone in this Reddit? They may not agree fundamentally on the underhive of the world and the people in power, but they may not agree on a lot of things, but they can agree on one. That is why they came here to snitch and say that biz as a whole has been compromised and you are not the only people being targeted by the hedge fund menace. Okay, so this is kind of like, oh, I'm going to do a Star Wars reference. This is Alderaan blowing up. And right now, they, there's some refugees from Alderaan that are coming to our planet and saying the Death Star is real. Here is the blueprint that we're looking at in purple right here and how they how to stop them, right? We have the blueprints right in front of us. To close this with a rather girthy post, they normally don't get so much space to make points known. They will close with this. Uh, the Goombler and several others believe that biz Reddit friction has been a psyop from the hedge funds to keep them from working together as the amount of people who show up to uh, 
be mean to Reddit and Redditors, despite being the brunt of our GME data is mined, is legitimately staggering. People who have been here for the last three months can vouch for me. Although I do not know if they have the spine to do what I have and take the leap into an ocean they never dabbled in. I am tired, Redditors. I'm tired of being harassed and bullied by people who don't even attempt to read the truth. They know that they're going to be paid for spamming BS, and when they found ways to counter this BS, they stepped overboard and began using their own site's reporting system to stifle conver conversation and theorizing because they know otherwise they cannot stop us with karma and downvotes like they do here they will not be so uh silenced you can shut them up you can kill them. oh my gosh okay this is getting a little intense they're not asking for a booth they're not at begging for help they just want people to know right the internet is meant to be free i agree Below, you will find an image of a supposed methods used by banks and hedge funds to dismantle online communities. We believe that these are what used to be collapsed Wall Street bets and several other communities to keep you from coordinating prices during the moon. They may not be an ape like you guys, but the Gibbons have been screaming in the trees for a long time, and it's about time the apes and Gibbons teamed up. You don't have to believe them. You, they're not the type to go someplace and lie. Uh, okay, fair enough. I mean... Mmm, it's grain of salt. Uh, they want to be rich like the rest of you. They're just tired Reddit, and you should be too. So uh, I I think this is a this argument is a little bit difficult to just take at face value because it's like I'm not gonna lie. Why would I go to an internet forum and lie for money? <laughs> because I'm being blackmailed? <laughs> because of some other reasons? Because I'm bored? There's a lot of reasons why you would lie. To a community. However, this is very helpful, right? Forum sliding, consensus cracking, topic dilution, uh, information collection, anger trolling, gainful full control. Uh, remember, these techniques are only effective if the forum participants do not know about them, and now you do. So you're going to be able to find this in the description. I'm going to put it right there and. Uh, do your own research about what kinds of tactics are being fo uh, forced on these forums. One of the best things about not having to decipher this between that is that uh, Professor Meatball and I will be able to help you dive through the pieces of DD that are more reputable and the pieces of DD that are just simple warnings. Don't be fooled. Be very careful with what you read. And once again, try your best to do your own DD, even if it involves you putting yourself in the danger of these manipulative tactics as long as you are able to see through them and understand them. Once again, thanks to those of you who have made this show possible and we'll see all of you in the month.